And moving on with our last story of the episode, we are talking about a Subaraya convention. Yeah, Subaraya convention. So apparently, there's going to be a Subaraya convention announced by Subaraya. It's coming out in 2019, and uh, it's happening in 2019, rather. And it will be, it will be happening uh, December 14th and 15th at the Tokyo Dome City venue. So will I be going to this? No, because it's in Tokyo City. But uh, it is it is nice, though. I'm actually really happy this is happening because also something else that could happen at this convention as well as it would be a great place to like many conventions to announce new Subaraya news so it will definitely be a great place uh even though we're in the u.s of course but to look at different news about either new um either new ultraman or new Subaraya projects in general in the future and other collaborations they might be having and other dvds and things like that that are coming out so very uh very and also toys as well of course a lot of toys so that would be really cool uh subodaya describes the convention looking at the article here as a fan appreciation festival and uh, that looks forward to the future it was also revealed that the convention will take place every two years okay so either way so it's just something that i think oh something else will be very interesting to see there stuff that we may have never seen before different props and things like that so i don't know how subodaya keeps their props i know that with with toei some of them do uh decay over time and kind of have to commission new suits after a while but I, it would be really nice to see some some visuals and stuff uh from the convention that we may have never seen before as fans so i'm actually really hyped for this even though i'll never be able to go because uh i i'm, I'm in the u.s and i don't have that kind of money to go to japan uh, especially for a convention but it would it would definitely be really cool so uh to see what can come from it so even though we're not getting it um and i don't know if we'd be we'd be getting one in the u.s anytime soon but i do wonder if you know super is putting this out there seeing what the buzz will be like especially on the u.s side and maybe considering in you know 2021 potentially bringing it to the u.s i mean we know that they're working with u.s companies uh sadly not to put out the the shows on dvd which i kind of would like them to put out more shows on dvd but they are working uh with them to put out the shows digitally you know you have you have a bunch of different streaming services uh putting out ultra shows and of course you have uh different companies coming out to dub ultraman as well into english so we talked about that you know in our last video uh we were talking about i want to make sure i get the corporation uh name right because i because it's a it's a but where's the corporation name Oh, do I, did I really close that? I really closed that. We're live right now, folks. Um, but either way, though, um, it's still pretty cool to you know to see Subodaya doing stuff like this uh, to you know show their appreciation to the fans because Ultraman, even if it hasn't had new shows, uh, depending on the you know the year uh, or its string of years, even if they don't have new shows, they always have something on the air. They want to make sure you know that people know that Ultraman exists. I mean, he is. Uh, I say he as if there's only one Ultraman, but no. But Ultraman is is huge. I mean. It really is huge especially if some of you guys because i feel like in the u.s there's some people that are like oh yeah ultraman's okay but no like ultraman even though i'm a bigger fan of of super Ten super sentai and common rider just because i saw it as a kid ultraman's huge so it's just uh by the way william winkler productions uh dubbing it into english specifically a bunch of movies as well as ultra fight victory so I'm I'm super hyped about this again from what can come from this from the new cycle and what we can see from this just a lot of fun stuff so uh, I just want to thank you all as we're wrapping this up I want to thank you all so much for watching another episode of Toku Station either live on our Twitch or watching these cut up into clips on our those guys on the uh, TG Productions rather YouTube channel or potentially going over to our patreon patreon.com slash TG Productions depending on what tier you give to getting these uh, in, in full audio format so you can listen to them on the go. Either way, whatever way you're listening to this, watching this, whatever it might be, thank you all so much. Love you all. Take care and tune in next time for another episode of Toku Station. All right, guys. So see ya.